specifically against corruption and the like. Thank you. Honourable. Uh, Thank you. Mrs. Harms, one minute on behalf of the Greens. Frau Mogherini. Thank you. I'm very satisfied, uh, Mrs. Mogherini, that uh, you uh, are here listening to Mr. Gala's report. I think the report does assess the progress that has been made, the problems, the blockades, in a very critical way, in a very constructive way. I must say that I feel, if you take the Ukraine, that there are one or two oligarchs exerting considerable influence on policies. This is a major problem, and this is why we have not managed to make progress in certain areas. To my colleague, Mr. Schultz, uh, I'd just like to say the following. After a critical debate on the imposition of martial law, a friend uh, said that, well, obviously, if Putin withdraws its troops, then the war is over. If Ukraine cannot defend itself, then the way we see Ukraine organized today, it will no, no longer exist as we know it. So we really have to make a contribution to a political solution. We have seen that there has been an escalation in the Sea of Azov. And I would like to uh, propose once again uh, that the observation mandate be extended to cover the Azov Sea, especially if the maritime routes and the Kerch Strait are not freed up for maritime transport. And we should close our ports to Russian vessels. And I think we ought to discuss personalized, more speci specific sanctions uh, for those who are responsible for arresting and trying Ukrainian sailors uh, in Russia. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Mr. Gill, on behalf of the EFDD. President, 